Criticism RV College, one of the premier institutions run by the prestigious RV group of institutions, has come up with a unique initiative to engage students at a time of this unforeseen medical emergency caused by Corona outbreak. As a socially responsible institution, we would like to connect academically with students to make good the losses caused. In this connection, I, Shiva Kumar Ayan, Department of Commerce, has posted a video on the subject cost accounting and a topic methods of labor remuneration. Please watch the video till the end and like, share with your peer groups and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. In the last video, I already explained the time recording such as time keeping, time booking, all those things. In this PowerPoint presentation, I will explain methods of labor remuneration. There are three methods of labor remuneration are there, such as time rate system, piece rate system, combined time and piece rate system or incentive schemes or bonus scheme. Some other methods also there, but as per the Bangalore Central University syllabus, only these three, the major methods of labor remuneration, I would like to explain in this particular PPT. Time rate system. This is the oldest of the wage payment system. In this system, time is made the basis of payment. Labor is paid for the time worked irrespective of the volume of production during that period time. So wages equals to hours worked into rate per hour. In case of rate hour basis or in case of day basis, wages equals to day days worked into rate per day. Let us know the way we can able to apply the time rate system or in another way suitability of time rate system. So time rate system can be applicable in these situations such as where quality of work is more important than quantity, where output cannot be measured in quantitative terms, where output is beyond the control of worker, where work is being done on a small scale where the worker is a learner or an apprentice. Let us know the, the advantages and as well as disadvantages of time rate system. When come to the advantages part, simplest, one of the most uh, advantage of the time rate system is very simplicity. That means we can easily calculate and understand by the, the layman also. That is, it is a depend upon the number of hours or number of days work. On, this, on the basis of that, employee can get the wages. Second point is security to workers. That means either depend upon the number of hours or the number of days, each employee, whether he is a efficient or not, he is secured. That means he is get minimum guarantees wages. Point number three, quality of work. So I already mentioned in the suitability of time rate system. That means where they are preferably give them the quality of work not depend upon the quantity hence they have given the more importance to produce the product according to the that specific order point number four accepted by the trade unions probably this is the one of the the thing which can give the uh, loyal to the almost all the employees then that's the main reason the trade unions can be accepted by this system then economical method because which can uh, helps both employer as well as the employee because employee needs to learn in this particular system and at, at the same time even the employee can get the best quality product because of there is not depend upon the only quantity because they are give the more importance to quality to respect also let us know the what are the disadvantages of this system point number one no incentives in this system there is no bifurcation of effective and as well as the the non-effective or in another way efficient and non-efficient the person who does not have efficient he will also get the same salary as like as the efficient one so here there is the no encourage of the efficient person by number two low quantity hence it is depend upon the qualitative aspect hence there is no need to give the importance to the quantitative aspect and then for number three extra supervision cost uh, in this case, uh, they are given the more importance to the qualitative aspect. If they are negligence or they are not working in a proper manner or 
is not time based then automatically the person is required to uh, motivate or can give the supervision to the workers otherwise they are able to complete the work within that particular time then costing difficulties probably the person who is efficient or not efficient or the person who is work or without work by the end of time whatever the situation they will get the same salary but the person who is a very efficient and is only stick on to the particular period or the hours and at the same time it is very difficult to analyze the things on the basis of the efficiency and it is a costing difficulty should be faced by the supervisor then i write that probably either work or not work will get a salary that is minimum guarantee pays hence almost all the employees they become lazy and they are not do the any such work because they will get a minimum wages if they work or not work the second method of labor remuneration is fees rate system wages under this system are paid according to the quantity of work done a rate is fixed per unit of production In the equation is wages equals number of units produced into rent per unit the suitability of fees rate system it can be suitable where production is standardized and repetitive in nature or where the aim is continuous maximum production where the output of the worker can be measured where workers continue at the same job for a long period or where the standard time required to complete a job can be measured accurately the benefits of fees rate systems are incentive to efficient worker that means the person who work can get a more benefit including commission increase in production because each worker can can produce a more quantity then automatically wants to increase his the wages then lower cost if the number of products are units more and more then automatically cost of the particular production is reduced equitably that means whoever are the efficiency they can able to produce the more number of products it is not dependent upon any number of other employees it is individual based then decrease in supervision it is a already mentioned it depend upon the number of units produced hence there is no need to supervise by any person simplifies costing because number of units produced based they will get a some wages and so automatically there is no need of the any difficulty to facing by the face by the supervisor that simple and easy it is also one of the simple and easy method to calculate the value of wages even though it is not free from the some of the drawbacks such as a poor quality of work no fixed security of wages the misuse of materials and equipment injuries to health the worker opposed by trade unions difficulties in fixing fees rate and unsuitable in certain cases probably the person does not have that efficiency did not get any secure uh, amount of payment or uh, can be misuse of materials and equipment to produce the more number of products but it does not have the same quality and it just towards the person who does not take care of his health only his intentions to produce more and more but he is not um, produce any quality products and as to say he does not care about the base of the health also and then opposed by trade union because if the person efficient only get the, the actual amount of service or maybe the person who is get only uh, depend upon their efficiency then they are not able to get the the minimum wages by the not efficient work and a trade unions cannot give the justice for the both the efficient and non efficient because they require both the categories that means it means they have to give the justice for the efficient as well as non efficient workers and difficulties in fixing the fees rate because they are not able to depend upon only the number of days or number of hours it is the number of units produced some of them they can produce more number of produce as some of them they are not able to produce the same quantity and unsuitable in certain cases already mentioned in the case of the time the system suitable only the particular situation a particular case similarly even though the fees rate set can be suitable for all the situation or all the cases combined time and fees rate systems or incentive schemes or bonus system both time rate and as well as fees rate systems have their own strong points and drawbacks incentive schemes or bonus system is a compromise 
between the two, combining the good parts of each system. There are four important incentives plans are there. Halsa plan, Rowan plan, Taylor's plan, Merrick's plan. According to Bangalore Central University, Halsa plan, Rowan plans and Taylor's plan only in the syllabus. Hence, let us know the only these three the different plans of incentive. Halsey plan. This is a plan introduced by Frederick Arthur Halsey, was an American economical engineer and economist. Under this plan, amount of bonus depends upon the time saved by the worker. A standard time is fixed for each job, and if a worker completes a job in less than the standard time, he gets wages for the time. Work plus a bonus equal to 50% of the value of time saved. Therefore, in this plan. Time saved equals to standard time minus time taken. Bonus equal to 50% of time saved into rate per hour. Then total earnings equals to time taken into rate per hour plus bonus. Or in another way, a total earnings equals to time taken into rate per hour plus 50% of time saved into rate per hour. Advantages of Halsey plan. This plan is easy to understand and workers can calculate their own wages. It guarantees minimum wages according to time rate and thus provides a sense of security to workers. The benefit of time saved is equally distributed between the workers and employers. It provides a strong incentive to increase production. This plan provides scope to earn bonus on each individual job. Disadvantages of all plan. Point number one, workers do not like to share the benefits of their efforts in saving time. With the employer. Point number two, the workers may be encouraged to rush through work and thus neglect the quality of production in order to earn extra bonus. And point number three, the incentive is not as strong as with the price rate system. Robert Plan. This plan was introduced by David Rowan and is similar to Halsey plan, except in the calculation of one of bonus. In this plan, bonus is that proportion of the wages of the times taken with the time saved pays to be the standard time. In this plan, time saved equals to standard time minus time taken only. Bonus equals to time saved divided by standard time multiplied by time taken into rate per hour. Hence, total earnings equals to time taken into rate per hour plus bonus or total earnings equals to time taken into rate per hour plus time saved divided by Standard time into time taken into rate per hour. Advantages of our plan It guarantees the wages according to the time basis. It provides higher bonus than also plan. It offers production to the employer when standard has not been properly fixed. As the bonus increases at an increase, decreasing rate at higher level of efficiency, the worker is not induced to rush through work. Disadvantages of our plan. It is complicated method and is not easily understandable by the workers. Where time saved is more than 50% of standard time, the total earnings start decreasing. One of the important methods of incentive plan is Taylor's differential piece rate system. It was devised by F. W. Taylor as a part of the scheme of scientific management. Under this system, the standard task is established after careful time in most study and two pieces piece rates are set they are the low rate is for substandard performance that is 83 percent of the piece rate piece work rate and the high rate of standard and above standard performance 175 percent of the piece work rate advantages of taylor's differential piece rate system Point number one, it is not difficult to understand and operate. It is also one of the simplest method of incentive plans because it is less than they are substandard, 83% of the work rate. It is more than the actual standard rate. It is 175% of the piece work rate should be up. And point number two, it helps to increasing the production by offering higher rates. Automatically, the person or employee can get more than 175% of the piece work rate that is the rate per unit produced automatically 
is uh, enthusiast to produce more and more products than what actually is not with the without offers. But number three, it attracts efficient workers. And kind of four, if overhead cost is high, it helps to reduce the unit cost because increase production. These advantages of Taylor's differential these are system. But number one, it penalties very severely the slow or inefficient workers as a slight fall in production will considerably affect their earnings. But number two, it makes wide discrimination between efficient and inefficient workers. It does not guarantee the minimum day wages and the insecurity affects the morals of the workers. Labor cost will differ from between the two levels of performance because of two different dates. Thank you for watching. I didn't explain the co-partnership profit sharing or non-incentive plans because they are not covered in the Bangalore Central University syllabus for the fourth sem become cost accounting labor costing chapter. Hence I didn't explain those the few topics. I have covered only the, the topics which are covered in the syllabus. Thank you.